Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to watch the short video that accompanies this month's Geospatial Tip of the Month. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of trying to determine the zone number for a UTM shapefile that you might have. It would also work for a raster file, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to do it for a shapefile. So, let's start off with one of the easier ways of doing it. Go to my file of folders, and the easiest way to do it is if you have a shapefile and it comes with a PRJ file, you can very quickly double click on the uh, yeah, you can double click on the PRJ file. I have it set up so that when I double click on the PRJ file, it automatically opens it with uh, Notepad or WordPad. In your case, you might have to set the program if you haven't already done this before. So when I double click on it, it brings up a window. And as you can see right in the very beginning of this Word file, you can see right here, UTM zone 28 north. So that's probably the easiest way if there's a PRJ file that you have with the data set that you're working with. And the PRJ file is just the projection file. Another way you could do it is you can load your data into ArcGIS and you can load one of the files that comes with ArcGIS that shows you the UTM zones around the world. And then you can load your file in question And then you can zoom to that layer by right clicking. And then you would want to press on the info button or identify button, excuse me. Click on the open area. And there you go. You see that it's zone 28. You're not gonna know if it's north or south as easily. You would have to zoom out and get a sense of where the equator is, or you could take a look down here. Um, right here would be your longitude and, excuse me, your latitude. And you would see that we are in the north because it doesn't have a negative number there. So those are two of the ways. And then the final way is a pretty elegant way if you have a, a KMZ file. You can load your KMZ file in Google Earth. I use Google Earth Pro, but it works just the same as in Google Earth. You would double click on your KMZ. It's gonna to zoom to the location. And what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to make sure that your KMZ file is, uh, or that Google Earth is in UTM. So you'd wanna to go to Tools, Options, Universal Trans Transverse Mercator, say OK. And then down here, what you're going to see is right there, 30U. That means it's in zone 30. And again, you could figure out where north um, if you were to zoom out all the way and take a look at what hemisphere we're sitting in. And you would find out that we're in the UK. And obviously, we're well above the equator here. So that would be in zone 30 north. So just make sure when you do that, you can see that if you're zoomed out, it's going to change depending on where your cursor is. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you do this in Google Earth that you just zoom in tight on your polygon and you hover over top of it and then you'll get the reading down there at the bottom. So thanks for taking the time to watch this month's Geospatial Tip of the Month video and we'll see you next month.